cats and kittens, demons, demon hunters, and great powers. A fresh look at a classic novel is this week's movie review. Journey to the West is a 16th century novel and in English speaking countries it's one of four great classical Chinese novels and it tells the story of a monk, a Buddhist monk, Zhuang Zhang. He must travel to India to retrieve some ancient sutras. This may very well be a spoiler but I feel I have to share this with you and you discover this at the very end is that this entire film serves as a prequel to the events in the novel and so it's really the story of how someone who on the surface seems like a fool really becomes this holy man and just the steps necessary as well as how did his traveling companions come to be and how did they join him and so this film really works in that level as a prequel it really has this kind of interesting texture to it in that it is wacky and slapstick but it has a great spiritual message which is delivered quite well and again that payoff is amazing some really clever visual effects and very amusing martial arts sequences and there's this one scene uh, at a family inn which is very cleverly shown to be horrifying. The main actor who plays the future monk is brilliant. Um, I kind of thought he was kind of um, overly emotional in some sequences, so that kind of detracted a little bit. But again, he's very endearing and his love interest in the film, the woman who is a kick butt demon hunter and is just beautiful and enchanting. But again, she has some sequences which I thought, okay, uh, you know, maybe tone it down a little bit. Uh, Miss Dwen is just brilliant. And she's very captivating. What a beautiful actress. Her sister, I thought, was kind of, was really both pretty and uh, charming and kind of wacky as well. There are some other martial artists, uh, the Almighty Foot and Prince Important, as well as one more demon fighter who uses both tiger and praying mantis style uh, gun fu in a way that's really clever. And when it works, it works. The one detriment to this film is that there's some humor which I thought was kind of sophomoric and, and really kind of distracting. So that's kind of what brought it down a notch for me. This film is no longer in theaters, but you can no doubt get it via Netflix streamed to you. And I saw it on Amazon and I had a really good time. And again, once I saw the ending, I thought, wow, this was really clever and it really made me appreciate this film. Now, if you're going in for The Monkey King, because it is kind of a prequel and you're expecting something really funny or heroic, you know, just be aware that things have to happen uh, to set up the ending. All right, guys, well, that's all for now. Even as the universe flows in harmony, I invite you to flow in harmony with my Twitter and Pinterest at Lord Coyote 2000. Have an awesome day, and I'll be talking to you real soon. Take care now. Bye.